Find me in Florida again. I'm home today with a sinus infection or a sinus cold. But I'm watching about Egypt. It's about 4.30 our time. Yeah, that's us. It's hard to believe. How could you have a ruler that has never had elections? I mean, this is just as bad as 30 years. I mean, 81? I was in secondary high school. I mean, I don't know, you guys. If you're nice people, maybe you need to show up at our reunion after we get this guy out. I don't know. It's sad. They're having, they're, they're, I say very little about the news, and when I watch it, this is something else. You know, sitting here, we got a candle of hope flowing for you. Yeah, that's, I, I'm a Catholic Christian. I'm sure you won't mind. And Zaitung, um, I hope you guys are alright over there. I hope you can see this. This is my living room. This is the mess you guys left. Well, and another thing. Just because I'm an American does not mean a guy agree with the government. And most of the time, I think you guys give us a bum rap. I'm just a poor little old me. And I have decided that it is not worth well, it's hard to tell you right off the bat. I don't like the idea that they've given you, they're giving you military arms over there. Personally, I'd rather use it for my roads. For the road and for things that we need, we need um, help with. I'm sure my husband will tell, talk about that, Scott. He's sitting on the couch over here. I, I guess he doesn't want to, but we'll tell you something. To get to his office the other day, it, it was it was flooded. So all of that tear gas, the money for that tear gas or something, went for the tear gas and didn't go to fix the roads. I don't know. Possibly this night, Michael. Yeah, yeah, Fred, the, the crucial thing, of course, is, is what does Hosni Mubarak do next? And, and you know, th th this, this started Sorry, off guy. in other countries, too, being about things like uh, poverty, the economy, unemployment, uh, education, things like that. Have you seen it more from demands for that to now they're saying, well, actually, no, the, the, the regime's got to go? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just wondering if it's crossed that Rubicon from uh, making demands that the government could give in to, as opposed to now, no, it's all, it's, it's on, it's all or nothing. Yeah, I got a fan. Well, it, it was interesting to see because some of the people that we were talking to told us that they didn't necessarily want President Mubarak to step down, but they did say that they wanted fundamental change. People uh, were telling me again and again that, um, as you said, there are no jobs. It's very difficult to find employment. Many of them were also speaking of social injustice. One man told me, all we want is a little bit of love. Now, there were, of course, uh, other people who were uh, very adamant about the fact that uh, Reza Mubarak must step down, that they felt that there was a fundamental change that had to happen, and that had to happen right now. They were very vocal about this uh, as well. So certainly, it is those fundamental problems that you saw in places like Tunisia as well. A lack of opportunity, a lack of, of social opportunity, a lack of social freedom, of course. This is a very repressive uh, police state, and, and people are just telling you they're absolutely fed up with their situation because they also just feel that they're way behind their possibilities, way behind what they could be, and they feel that now is the time where they have to go and fight for this. And the other thing that we've been talking about so much, Michael, is we've been saying 
that so many people come from all walks of life here, but it's really interesting to see the amount of people who are very, very young who are participating uh, in these demonstrations, who are very well educated, who have a lot of knowledge politically, who will tell you a lot of things about world politics, how all this plays into world politics, how important Egypt is uh, in politics in this region and in world politics, and these are the people who are going on the street and who, are, who were, for the better part of the day, fighting it out with the police forces and then of course sort of making up with the military when they rolled uh, at least into our part of town right here. Mike. Yeah, and as you said, and as Tim Lister uh, was discussing with me earlier too, this is now a section of the community uh, in Egypt who no longer fear a security apparatus that kept them uh, under the thumb for so many years. Fred Plaikin, thanks so much. Now uh, we've been talking a lot about Ben oh. Wiedemann, one of our other correspondents on the ground there. Uh, we're going to get the backstory from Ben Wiedemann from the show I host on CNN International, uh, which isn't running today because of these developments, but we're going to give you Ben's backstory anyway. Stick around. Because, of course, communications are down everywhere, uh, it's very hard to determine for the scope of protests around the city, but certainly uh, this one in front of the Ministry of Information is something I never thought I would see. Fast. Find me in Florida again. Thank you.